Happy holidays, fiber friends! So, December has been a month, hasn't it? Um, I hope that now that Christmas is over, you've uh, been able to achieve, like me, that golden space where you don't know what to do with your hands because you've hopefully finished all of your Christmas crafting and you haven't quite started into your big ambitious plans for the new year. Um, and you can just sort of cozily knit. So pull up your knitting, maybe a beverage, and uh, hopefully we have a little bit of a laugh together, right? Maybe? Number one, decide on December 1st to film a Vlogmas. Wake up early, film your morning routine, making your tea, making your breakfast, and then proceed to film absolutely nothing else because let's be honest, you don't have time to film no Vlogmas. Number two, open the first five or so days of your advent calendar of yarn on the appropriate day, and then cave in and open the whole rest of the thing like an animal all at once because it's yarn. You, you, you couldn't help yourself. Number three, uh, decide to knit matching hats, mitts, sweaters, whatever for the family. I did buffalo plaid for all my cousin's kids and then swear you will never knit that pattern again because it's all you've been knitting for a month straight. But then secretly decide that buffalo plaid in gray would make a phenomenal sweater and pop that into your to-do list of must-have sweaters for next year. Number four, nurse an injury related to knitting more in December than you do any other month of the year, like a little bit of knitter's elbow, or maybe you've been icing your fingers after all night sock knit-a-thons because every member of your family needs socks for Christmas. Number five, Decide to knit matching sweaters for your kids. No, sweaters will take too long. You don't have time. Decide to knit socks for all of your kids. You know what? Probably just wrap up the sock yarn itself. Your kids will understand. Number six, block something on Christmas Eve. Bonus points if you wrap it up the next morning and it's still damp. Number seven, cast on something on Boxing Day for that family member you won't see till after New Year's. Little, little drinky break in the middle. Number eight, convince yourself that you can totally knit an adult men's size sweater all in one month. You know, on second thought, sweaters make excellent Valentine's Day gifts. Number nine, talk yourself down multiple times from casting on a project for yourself. This is the month for gift knitting, and even though your favorite designer has released yet another stunning Fair Isle colorwork pattern, you need to be a responsible knitter and wait till January. Unless you watched Under Knits, in which case, go ahead, she says that you can do it. Number 10, promise yourself again that next year you will start your Christmas knitting earlier. Number 11, decorate something in your house with skeins of yarn. Maybe you've been hanging your advent calendar on your Christmas tree. Maybe you've just scattered red and green skeins all around your house, all festive. But you know what? Why have a stash if you can't display it? Number 12, consider sending your partner into a yarn store to pick out your Christmas gift and then change your mind because we can't be having our spouses find out exactly how much a skein of yarn costs. They might do the math. Number 13, receive at least one store-bought mass-produced scarf, hat, mittens as a gift and smile very politely while you say thank you. Number 14, lament over the fact that your stockings are not hand knit and then stay up till 2 a.m. scrolling through stocking patterns on Ravelry. Number 15, wrap up at least one sweater quantity of yarn for yourself because that's what you really wanted for Christmas. Anyways, that's all I've got. I hope you had a couple of laughs. Some of those were totally serious. Some of those were poking fun at the basic knitter that I am. Let me know in the comments below what things I missed from my knitters in December list. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season, that you stayed safe and responsibly socially distant. Um, and hopefully here's to all the best in 2021. I will be back after the holidays with some new videos um, touring you through my most worn sweaters this year, with a deeply revealing dive through my pile of works in progress, and with an uncropping of my Soldatna tea, which you can see is sitting here with yarn waiting to be um, hem ripped out and lengthened, and I'll share that process with you all as well. That's all I've got for now. Um, happy knitting, happy spinning, crocheting felting, dyeing, whatever it is you do with fiber, because after all, this is the yarn lab. This is what happens when it's not consistent video production. Rambling, 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 rambling.
we're bouncing back and forth so that we can do jump cuts. <laughs> decide to sit. Blah, 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 blah. Decide to sit. Blah, blah, blah. Decide to switch. Oh my gosh, tongue twister. This is how we do jump cuts. Maybe pretending I'm a YouTuber. 